I was probably the most unlikely person, most unlikely person to be involved in starting a school. I had never heard anyone ever heard anyone say that they wanted to start a boarding school in East Texas. It really was a field of dreams because there was just nothing there. There was just nothing there. The rumors during the first year, the kids would come in and say, oh, we heard at church that the school's closing. But every time there's a struggle, every time there's a struggle, it's like God saying, stand back and let me show you what I can do. I still have that, wow, look what I'm a part of. I'm a part of. Steve had a dream, and it's been a wonderful dream. In the fall of 89, I became involved with a Bible study group uh, that uh, had been organized to explore our talents, our abilities, how God might use us uh, to uh, accomplish His purposes. And going through that study was a real revelation in my life because I understood at the time that what God was calling me to do very clearly was to be involved in private education in East Texas. A dream had become a vision. And, and it, was, it was his. He, had, he was serious about it. And he began to talk about how, how he was going to do this, how he was going to build it, how he was going to fund it. A good friend of mine is a, a local realtor. And uh, I was telling, uh, telling him that uh, we were looking for some land, preferably south of town, because that's the direction of growth. I told him we wanted a piece of property that had a hill on it, had a stream on it, and preferably a lake. And uh, I kind of left it at that. A few weeks later, he calls and said, you need to meet me in Bullard, and I want to show you the land. And I came down here with him, and we walked over every inch of it. So this is it. Well, the difficulty is starting from scratch. Um, you, you don't have a school, which you're starting in next door to the church or next door to another facility or in a, in a small classroom setting. Uh, from the onset, it was going to be, you know, we're going to open the doors and this is going to be the facility we're going to use. I think, I think people did uh, really wonder whether or not we could ever get it off the ground. And it, it is a huge undertaking, but every school starts somewhere. And I thought, well, here's this one starting out here with Steve and a few other people that really, they're not the movers and shakers in town. They're, they're, they're really not outside of their circle, not even known by anybody. But praying about it, listening to Steve talking about it, I knew that God was going to place his hand on it. Well, it took a lot of prayer. Well, that's the, we felt that way a lot. How can this happen, you know? But we just felt like it would happen through prayer. Then he said, okay, we're ready to start construction. Can you start designing something? Uh, then I thought, well, he's really serious. And I, I wouldn't say that I ever really had any doubts, but this is such a big step, a lot of money involved. And he told me how much uh, it was going to cost, and it was going to cost a lot of money. And I said, Steve, I don't have a lot of money to give you, but I want to be your first donor. And, and I wrote him out a check uh, from Carol and I, and, and I said, this is to be your first donor. And, and it was an exciting moment for me to be, to be in on something like that from the very beginning. And the more the plans began to roll and Mike Butler, the architect, began to bring us drawings and the enthusiasm that Steve had, I could see that this was going to be a really, really unusual Christian school. 